Hi everybody, I'm JT. I'm Harry. Welcome to the Campervan and Motorhome Show here at the NEC. We're going to have a good look round today and hopefully find some amazing vans, possibly one to replace our Volkswagen California. Just. Enjoy the video and uh, remember to hit the button to like and subscribe and drop us any comments below. <laughs> so where, what are you doing? You're going to the toilet. Okay. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. And I can look through the window. And you can look out of the window. So people can see. Whilst you're on the toilet. Yes. Today we're spending the day having a look around some a huge selection of camper vans and motorhomes. And now the ones that I guess are our favourites, which is the Westphalias. So we've been looking at these for a long time, looking at the quality, the layout, the finish, and I guess probably also the link with our Volkswagen vans through their heritage. Um, but particularly want to have a look at the Columbus and probably the Amundsen. Just look at all of them and see what their options are. Very, very solid. <laughs> Do you know? Quite actually. There's probably a bar under the front. Yeah. Just slide it. There you go. Uh, Come forwards or did it? No, it tilts. Tilt. So, so the base has slid. There you go. That's better. Yeah, but it's like a car seat, isn't it? Like you'd expect in a car. So this is absolutely one of our favourite vans in terms of the seat here, the travelling seat. We've been able to slide that forwards to give you a better angle, better recline for, for longer distance. Proper seat belts, but it looks more like, as Claire said, more, more like a car seat rather than a compromised caravan seat just to fit in. Pops up up the top. All really nicely lined out with a zip-in liner. You see that? Probably. Uh -huh. <laughs> They've changed their fridges around so they were on the side there on the top. Nice window at the top. The front. The bathroom. Big. The mirrored bathroom door is going to help make it feel bigger, but a really nice bathroom. Look at that, it's really nice. Now we will close it. Now I grab my bag. Yeah. I just feel on the finish on the cupboard latches and the door handles and things just really really nicely well built which is still based on the Fiat chassis yeah, like it. So this is the key thing that you've got to watch out with a lot of these vans. So the starting price on this Westphalia behind me that we've just been in is 64,000. But by the time you've added all the options, We get to 91 and a half thousand. So that's a massive, massive jump. Is it worth it? Well, yes. It's the Columbus 600E first edition. Price comes in at under 80,000, which is a real surprise. Yeah. 
So Columbus number two, this is a... Ooh, what's that? Mum, do you, do you know what this Spice might one? be? Spices. Very nice upholstery. Lovely finish to these cupboards. I like the flooring. It's like a boat. That's quite nice. And that one again will slide backwards and forwards. Isofix child seat mounting points. I mean, uh, you're too big for that. Yeah, this is a bit in there as well. Yeah, slides through both ways. Is it Knives, maybe? Knives? Knives aren't circular. I haven't seen the price on this yet, but I fear it's going to be over 100,000. We'll find out in a minute, which sadly is going to mean it's no. probably over budget. You do do a really, really nice bathroom. Well, maybe if we can be persuaded to keep our next van for 20 years, it'd be worth the investment. Huge bed. So a lovely mattress, huge bed, very open, very spacious. It's really, really nice finish. It's got a nice flock lining to the inside, which is going to help with insulation and noise. This Columbus has got a really clever new seat arrangement with a swivelling double front seat. So, ability to carry five people. You can see much from behind. Hmm? <laughs> so in this one you've also got a taller fridge with a wardrobe underneath so you have less countertop space just the way it's configured. This is the 600D. So behind me is the Sven heading, which is based on the Man GG platform. So um, bigger van, an alternative to the Fiat-based platforms. It's narrower, um, but taller, I believe. But what the, the thing I really like is it's got the quality, because it shares the crafter platform, a lot of the componentry that you get from the Volkswagen van. So it's basically, it's a crafter all by a different name. But uh, this particular one behind me is £92,000. A Grand California, spec'd up to what we'd be looking at, would be about 90000 So you then have to question whether this is worth it as a dedicated camper conversion or whether the um, Grand California is a better option. Let's go and have a look inside it. So to have a widthwise bed, it has these clever electric pop-outs on the side to create space for sleeping sideways. Double drawer, 
fridge freezer. Which I think adds practicality. Lovely seats. Taller so I can stand up. Storage in the bulkhead. Okay, another really nice bathroom. Because it's a Volkswagen Crafter. Yeah. So that's, you've got, I mean, all of those controls are very, very similar to ours. And it's, it doesn't look like it's going to wrap them in it. No, because it's a man Crafter van. Good thing. So this is a point for Westphalia, and we'll see if we can ask them in a minute. If they could do this van with the clever little flip out seat that they've got there, I think that would be perfect for us. But See if we can find the chap to ask. Yeah. So after talking to the man from Westphalia, uh, the little clever folding travelling seat that they have available on the Fiat base vans or some of the Fiat base vans just won't fit in the Sven heading because the man chassis is narrower. So it's a real, real shame because that will make that van, I think a perfect four berth, four seater van without going the full size to a motorhome. So never mind. we have to look at, continue looking at other alternatives. But you cannot beat, cannot beat the quality of the Westphalias. The finish of them is superb, but the price is certainly higher. This Bowden's transporter conversion is not the sort of thing we'd be looking at, but it's really clever in its layout. Four seats. Kitchen at the back. Kitchen, fridge, even a little oven. And under here, a toilet. Very clever. So it's a great show here. There's loads and loads to see from the lower end of the market right up to the top. These big RVs behind me are six or seven hundred thousand pounds each. I'd be really worried about where you park it, but and this little Devon Firefly has got a hidden secret. Let's see what Harry's up to in the back. <laughs> so where, what are you doing? You're going to the toilet. Okay. In the kitchen. In the it kitchen. Means I can look through the wind. And you can look out of the window. So uh -huh. people can see. Whilst you're on the toilet. Yes. What is that? Really oh, not oh, sure oh, that nice. toilets in small vans work. Oh, and, <laughs> and there's a wardrobe as well. The wardrobe is literally next to the toilet. You can have pongy clothes. It's a really, really clever design, but is it a workable design? Is it a usable design? Is it a design that you actually want to work with? I'm not so sure that it is. I'll tell you, it's a weird design. I really don't think I want to be having a number two. And this would drive you. Or a number one in the kitchen. And it rattles. You wouldn't like it. But you don't know. Clever though. 
These Rebel vans behind me are pretty special. This one is based on a Mercedes Sprinter. It's an all-wheel drive chassis. It's got amazing looks, amazing fit and finish, and a pretty amazing price. £145,000. It would definitely look good on my driveway. So we come back to have another look at the Heimer van. And one of the things that Claire picked up was on the travelling seat was about the base of it and whether the cushion was fastened. And obviously if you're travelling and you brake sharply, you want to make sure that you're retained. And it does look like this cushion isn't fastened. So it doesn't seem to be any real secure. I was confident that it would be but with very little effort it's just been removed so i really want to check that from a safety point of view if that is the case that would be a real shame because i really like this one so i'm now in the heimer edition bathroom and Peek hello peekaboo first of all there's no lock harry's just let himself in um secondly He's very, very cosy. I'm not a big chap. I'm five, eight, and uh, very little space above me. And I know I've got a backpack on, but if I was trying to shower, there's very little room in here to do that. Now, yes, this is a shorter van. This is the 5.4 meter van, but the six meter van is the same. So, it's very, very compact. So yes, an emergency parking at a campsite, you're probably going to use their facilities, but if you've got a bathroom, I think it needs to be a usable bathroom, if that makes sense. But, so, I'm actually pretty disappointed because I did, on paper, really like these Heimers and I was really hoping that they were going to be an alternative to the Westphalias. Hurry up. Sorry. <laughs> Finish now. So this is the 5.4 metre, yeah? Yeah. It's okay, no? So, uh, where's the fridge then? I'm going to be. Popped up. <laughs> My seats. It's not as wide. It doesn't come out as much into the. No, he's not sitting very. Sit normally, Harry. So we have had an amazing day here at the NEC in Birmingham looking at all these fantastic vans. This Heimer Venture behind us is probably the most impressive out of all we've seen. A real 
game changer, but with a very high price tag. So we hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember, if you have, please click the button to like and subscribe to follow our adventures here on Campervan Journey. And we look forward to catching you on our next video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks Bye. for watching.